Hello there, Grumpy Old Fart here. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not talking about marijuana. When I say Oklahoma pot, I'm not talking about marijuana. I'm talking about an iron pot. In, uh, but back in 1912, 1912, in Oklahoma, a small iron pot was found inside a large piece of coal. So the coal was there, they broke it open, and inside there was a pot. It was found by a worker at the municipal electric plant in Thomas, in Thomas Oklahoma. I, I got it wrote down. Let me let me read it. Uh, he had a chunk of coal too big to use, so he broke it with a sledgehammer. The iron pot fell out, leaving its impression, its mold, in the piece of coal. So it did come from inside the coal. It wasn't just in the in the bin buried under coal. It was it was inside a big piece. Um, and another employee witnessed this event so this isn't just him saying it there's another person there he had a witness all right coal came from the mines at wilberton oklahoma and the coal in this mine is surveyed at 312 million years old so 312 million years ago somebody made an iron pot and dropped it and the coal formed around it over over the centuries that's what happened There's nothing else you can get from that. This isn't so and so said such and such. The guy had a witness. There was a, there was another person there who witnessed what happened. So, you know, this is this isn't hearsay. It's not opinion. This is a fact. It did in fact happen. Three hundred and twelve million years ago, who was running around smelting ore and casting or forging iron pots, and you know, so they could be dropped into you know, and laid out to be, to, to be embedded in coal later. Who did that? Something is wrong with the scientific narrative. They're telling us that human beings didn't exist more than, I want to say, five or eight, 10,000 years ago, something like that, 20,000 years ago. But then everything, but they find new stuff, like, for example, Gobekli Tepe, which pushes the narrative back a little bit. You know, the, the dawn of man gets pushed back a little bit more. And now they find stuff like this. 312 million years ago, somebody dropped a pot. Somebody forged a pot, you know, cast it or whatever, and then dropped it. Do the math. Something's wrong. <laughs> Something's seriously wrong. Michael Cremo may be onto something with his book, Forbidden Archaeology, because you got, you got to check out that book. He, according to him, he makes some, some weird claims that say uh, the the... the museum uh, officials museum personnel are altering the dates to fit the narrative and that's not science you should follow the facts and where the facts go that's where the truth is that's not what they're doing according to him they have a narrative that they want to put forward and they're changing the facts to fit that narrative that's not science okay stuff like this just blows the official narrative right out of the water and it shouldn't be okay scientists should should look should look at stuff like this and go well okay we were wrong let's figure out what the what the right story is what the what the right what the facts are but they're not doing it they're hiding stuff like this a scientist looks at something like this and says oh no it can't happen it's right there two people one guy broke it open and the pot was inside and somebody else witnessed it you gonna call them liars I'm just saying if it's a hoax it's a damn hell of a good hoax I'm just saying. Something's wrong with the official scientific narrative. And we got to figure out what it is. Because we're finding things that we shouldn't find. These unexplained artifacts. I, I, I happened to look at, you know, unexplained artifacts in coal. I typed it in and a list came up. I'm, I'm doing some more later, but my point is, there's a lot of shit that shouldn't be. According to the, if the official narrative was real, there's a lot of shit that shouldn't be, and it is. That's all I'm saying. You folks have a good day. God bless one and all.